Mormons are confused about who Christ is, but I never tell them that. Instead, I welcome them into my journey out of confusion. My confusion is a huge asset for me in life and in my witness to Mormons and others. Yes, you heard me right. My confusion is a huge asset. I'm not saying it's good to be confused, because it isn't. But it is good to be honest about confusion. Do you want honesty about your own confusion? Tim Keller said we are so profoundly self-centered that we don't even think we are. That's why we minimize our confusion while criticizing others for theirs. I do it, and so do you. In March of 2002, I had a humorous crisis of confusion. While reading a familiar Bible passage, I could no longer contain myself and cried out, Either Paul is wrong or I'm confused. Embarrassment swept over me, followed by relief. I knew God and Paul weren't confused, so I must be. This should have been obvious. Why wasn't it? I had read the Bible much for 20 years, but that day I took ownership of my confusion in a new way. Before, I wouldn't have denied having some confusion. But on that day, I saw myself in a new way, as fully accepted by God, but confused. Owning my confusion invigorated me and turned my confusion into a treasure hunt to discover points of my confusion, each of which hides one or more gems of God's goodness and beauty. That's because Jesus Christ is the reality behind the moral world, and that makes Him our true humanity and the way out of confusion. That fact is a diamond hidden in the opening verse of John's Gospel. I often tell Mormons about my confusion as a way to invite them to be honest about theirs. They respond first with a surprise or even shock that I would admit such a thing. Then they relax and confess to having some confusion, too. This naturally throws the door wide open for conversation as it makes them curious to discuss the possibility of escaping confusion. God hardwired the universe to work in an unconfused way. C.S. Lewis said God's moral law is the grain of the universe, and if you go against the grain, you should expect to get splinters. Confusion concerns misunderstanding the grain of the world. Mormons often experience painful slivers of self-condemnation, impatience, bitterness, and worse. Their religion says the problem is their lack of sincerity and determination. That puts a heavy burden on them to try harder to go in the same direction. They try not to notice this burden because their religion also says they are the happiest people on earth. I never criticize Mormons, but instead lift their burdens by helping them discover their problem concerns wisdom, not willpower. I lead them to change direction and go with the grain. This surprises them and their splinters disappear. Mormonism is pure confusion because it distorts what it means to be human by constantly rejecting the unifying aspect of the grain of the universe. You can pretend that gravity isn't important for your life, but if you do, please don't test your theory by stepping off the roof of a tall building, as that may be the last thing you do. That's what Mormonism does in its constant refrain that God never desires or requires you to be flawless like Christ right now. But God does, and that reality is hardwired in our humanity. That means we know we should always measure or draw a line with moral perfection now. But our pride blinds us to this simple principle. I never tell Mormons they are confused. Instead, I help them discover this principle by bypassing their pride and leading them to bring the reputation of Christ into the conversation and measure by His perfection. This surprises them as their spiritual eyes open and their confusion disappears. Watch my series Melting Meg's Heart for details of how I do it.